Hey, best friend. Girl, what you doing? Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best. So, guys, I just wanted to do this one more thing with Martel Holt. And I'm going to call it um, the arrogance that help uh, to uh, bring down Martel Holt to a peasant. Now, we all saw when Martel and Melody started, right? We heard that they were great entrepreneur, business people, an example in uh, Huntsville, Alabama. We know that Martel met Melody in college. He love bombed her, met her one year. The following year, they were engaged, right? And I'm going to try to insert pieces of clips um, to, you know, help with this, probably at the end. However, we know Martel married her right out of college. He did some type of a um, short story about his life where he was basically talking about, you know, how as a little boy growing up, he claimed that he was allegedly bullied. He claimed that, you know, he wasn't wearing shoes like the other people or kids were wearing in school. Well, was your brothers and sisters doing that? <clears throat> we can see that you're not... <clears throat> Well, allegedly, you're not from a family who was brought up with silver spoon in their mouth, right? So you're not going to be expected to be wearing kids the other kids are wearing. Martel went on to say, you know, he worked as a um, lawn care to start buying the type of clothes that he needs, right? Um, he then mentioned that he went to college, right? A&M played I know that when you get a scholarship to a college, you have to continue to work, keep up them grades so you can keep the scholarship. Martel stated that it was because of the um, passing away of his grandmother why he got out of college. He then implied that he got a job working at the prison and we know why Martel was fired from that prison. Okay, Negro left his job to go rob bank and it's no alleged because it's all out there. Fast, fa uh, fa uh, fast forward, my accent's coming out. Fast forward, Martel, I'm trying to make it, Martel's uh, got married, was living a gorgeous life. In season one, we heard Mama Van talk to him and tell him about his arrogance and how, you know, in the last couple of years, he has been bold, more arrogant, right? Do you dislike me because of my arrogance? Sometimes I don't like you. It's always been there. I've always seen that in you. Okay. And as your mom would say, he's just a confident man. But the past couple of years, I've seen you become a little arrogant. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I tell you what, I hope y'all don't think that I'm going to change because I ain't changing nothing. It gotten us this far, gotten us everything that we got, and I'm going to stay the way I am. So let me finish these dishes up. And I don't think arrogant. If that's what it is, arrogant. I, I, I know that was a was a, a big blow for you to hear me say that. I know that. Oh, it, it was, but it's okay, though. Because I just, you know, I love what God has done to me and for me. So, you know, if we go call it arrogant, that's what's up. I would have uh, thought I was the man on campus. The guy could do no wrong. The guy that had everything that he wanted. And I think that was one of my problems, too. It just was uh, a look too arrogant play football and guys fast forward as you know martel continue with his disrespect towards melody he literally blatantly to her face let her know that i have a girlfriend right and as a matter of fact when mel looked at him and says you gotta learn to understand and treat the trophy you had Martel looked at her and said, well, what if that, that trophy not doing anything? He literally looked at Mel on national television and says, you wasn't satisfying me and the chick was fulfilling the void. Now, for the life of me, it didn't hit Martel until when Martel, you guys remember the scene where he followed her and they were in the van talking and she, he said, I just want to know where our marriage is. And this is way after Mel left and, Mart and Mel looked at him and says, the paper will be in the mail. When you see Martel place his hands on his head and wiped it to say, oh, Jesus, this is it. This is it. That's when Martel start taking it seriously, right? Again, we're fast forwarding. Martel continued this 
uh, chaotic behavior using his baby mama against Melody, saying things, talking about, you know, Mel cheated. He won at one point listed names of people of frat brothers, lawyers. Then he had to retract all of them things because I guess them people was coming after him. Now, three years later, after he was set free to go be with what he was told or said he wanted, right? The thing with Martel is the whole time Martel wanted everything to be under wraps. He didn't want it to be out. He didn't want no one to know this was happening to him. So it won't let the, the image that he had be tainted as the good guy, you know, as, oh, the, the guy that was driving the Lamborghini because he said it. He got cocky because females were coming after him, right? <clears throat> he blamed the Scots also for his demise. And now, after all this, Martel wants to let people know, or Melody know, he regretted what he did. We don't care anymore. You've regretted it so many times. We don't care. But guys, I'm going to play some clips so you guys can like refresh your memory. Um, but... This is the downfall of Martel, and he needs to own it and get out of our face, period. That scene that Martel did with his father, it's, it's, all, it's all image. He was trying to let his dad see that as hard as he was trying to, even after Mel took him back because he saw Mel had um, sugar mama, trying to portray this good guy. I'm a good husband. I'm a good father. I look, I got all my kids. That's what Martel wanted from his dad and never received it. Martel became an angry little boy because his dad went away for most of his life. Martel hasn't gotten over that. And uh, let me squeeze this in for that therapist. Maybe you should have talked to Martel about that. Anyway, bring back Dr. Francis because that woman was wacky. Right. And I gotta be honest with you, man. It seemed like it was pretty fresh. I wanna make sure everybody's good. Dude, it, 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 this... Look, it's been over, it's been like a, what, a year and a half? We, I never talked, I never so, heard so about that. That's this. my priorities. My wife, my family, my business, and then come back to the comeback so group. You... So we gonna be good no matter what. No, 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 no. You saying we good, but listen, we're about to go into business. We can't have no bumps in the road. We got this thing going on. And a lot of times what happens is the guy might think he's My good goodness, the Holtz. They're supposed to be movers and shakers, motivators, influencers here in Huntsville. Have you been paying attention? To now, the last time I talked to Martel, you remember Martel said he was an ex-cheater. So everybody knows you're a cheater. Good. Hey, man, the event was nice, man. Oh, yeah. yeah Thank you. It was you. dope. It was dope. I got a phone call from another number today. Oh. How's that working out for you? Oh, yeah, that's good. Hey, <laughs> right you know, trying to move in the right direction. Right All communications are gone. See, I guess <clears throat> months ago, Melody and hey, Mr. Deal. Yeah. You know, it's like I said, yeah, it's, it's 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 rough enough getting up to have to be to work at six thirty. Yeah. That's on five thirty. Oh, okay. So it'd be like an hour, oh. hour early. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? I got you. And it'd be times. It'd be times that. You know what I'm saying? Now, even though I have a, a hard week, a rough week, and yeah. never, cause I will say I complete my mission. There we go. Another so, I mean, week up, another hey, week down. You chilling or something, you know, you can be right up at the house. And that's what I'm talking about. Be right up there at our house, chilling. And the kill. It couldn't get no better than that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying now? That's a So we are coming with a force. Yeah. Lessons we are keeping with course in our Oh, and I 